us now is Jennifer Simonetti Bryan, and she's a wine and spirits expert, one of only four women in America with the Master of Wine title. And hi, Jennifer, thank you for joining us. You have an hibiscus uh, flower from Australia put at the base of the flute. It was in simple syrup, and you top it up with Piper Heights of Champagne. Now, this is actually being served at Morton Steakhouses all across the United States. But, like I said, it's a bit dramatic to see the bubbles just kind of yeah. ride up those uh, petals. It's a great presentation. And you've got some biscuity, toasty aromas that cannot be replicated anyplace else. But for California sparkling wine, it can have some really luscious. <laughs> Wait, before luscious you open that, she's Cody, opening we that. do have to say, though, you got to listen to Jennifer because she is one of only four masters of wine in this country. Uh, a female. Yes, female. That's right. And the common misconception is that you twist the cork, yeah. you twist the base, and you want to have a soft pop. Now what we're finding is that consumers are really making some conscious decisions about quality value ratio. They're looking at not only what the price is, but they're like, what, are, what am I getting inside that bottle? What, what is the quality that I'm getting for my money? And you have so many different areas and so many different vintages. It changes every year. I mean, thousands of different grape varieties, millions of acres. And it, because it changes every year, it's so complex. That's where you need experts that come into play who are able to look past some of that and say, you know what, you may not like an oaky character, but for the whole picture of what the wine is, uh, you're able to say that's a great quality wine. What it does, it brings out some of the vanilla tones, toffee, um, as well as some, some Christmassy kinds of spices. One of the things that champagne producers are doing is something that is creating innovation. So this is a partnership with Christian Louboutin, the, the famous shoe designer. And what you do, it's really a lot of fun. What you do is you pour champagne in there and you drink from it. <laughs> The best thing is a glass of champagne because a really? glass of champagne is about uh, 100 calories per flute. So if you're trying to watch your waist, champagne is actually really quite good. So we have some great holiday cocktail recipes. Joining us now is wine master and mixologist Jennifer Simonetti Bryan. This is a poinsettia themed drink. Absolutely. And you mix cranberry juice and vodka. And you can do this ahead of time. So you can put this in, in your refrigerator. And what you do is you top up two flutes about three quarters of the way. And then what you do, is you put Piper Heights of Champagne. So, so you that's put the champagne over the cranberry juice. Yeah, because what it does, it actually tells your taste buds to wake up. So adding any type of sparkling wine or champagne to a cocktail really adds an entirely new dimension to cocktails. And one of the things you may want to do as well is when your guests come, instead of having to prepare all of these for each guest each time, make little cocktail stations. The biggest mistake that people make when they make cocktails is that they buy cheap booze. You may have to spend a little bit more, but your cocktails are going to be that much better. May all of your joys be pure joys and all of your pain champagne. Happy oh, holidays. Oh, wow.